Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my December journal with me in Mahobanichi Techo. Um, I need to catch up on some of my um, dailies in here. As you can see, um, what I really like doing is if I don't have enough time, I'll just write in all of my titles in with my gray uh, brush pen in here and I will come back in and journal about it a little bit later. Um, I usually keep a little post-it note on the front here or some like sort of note paper to write in all of my titles that I want to use and then uh, when I have time I'll sit down and start journaling. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of journaling. Let's see. Um, here. So I did get my new fountain pen which is just here. Um, I would have already put up a video on it if you haven't watched it. Um, it's just a quick unboxing and my initial thoughts of this fountain pen. This is the Platinum uh, Plaisir uh, fountain pen and it is quite affordable so um, today I'm going to be using it in this plan with me. It's going to be my very first time actually using it in a journal entry. Um, mostly as you guys know I just use uh, the Hobonichi pen in here so I'm super excited to try something new. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything super special today. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. Well, I guess the special thing is using that, um, I'm going to be using that fountain pen. So, uh, I'm actually just going to go back and start filling in some of my pages that I haven't, um, already filled out. I am a little bit behind. I haven't journaled since the 11th, which is weird. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my date covers. Um, I do get some questions sometimes about where I get my date covers. Um, uh, I find all of mine on Instagram, actually. Um, some of them uh, you have to be careful because you do have to pay for some. Others uh, are allowed to download for free. So um, I would definitely check out Instagram, check out some of the Japanese hashtags in the Hobonichi Techo because a lot of people do use them. I'm sorry I can't link all of them all the time simply because like I can't find them again. <laughs> um, I just download it straight from whatever download link that they provide. Sometimes these download links are only available for a certain month and they take them down after so um, if you've seen some of like my past uh, Some of my past spreads and really like some date covers um, Sometimes they do sometimes the artist does take it down. So um, I'm really sorry. I personally I can't um, distribute them again uh, because it's not my own artwork, so um, I'm sorry if you guys can't find it and you like it and you ask me where it's from <laughs> So we are almost getting to the end of uh, this year's book. Oh my gosh, only a couple more pages left. It's insane how fast this year went by. It probably went the fastest that um, I've ever felt. So I think I'm just going to do the rest of my spreads quite simply. I don't want to do too many things at the end of the year because I'll probably save a few ideas for the new year and I don't want to stress myself out before um, the new year even comes. So, Okay, so guys, I'm back. My camera battery died, so I did have a little bit of extra time to fill in a few of my spreads. I do have a few more that I want to fill in later, but... Right now I'm going to go ahead and try my new fountain pen, which I'm very, very excited to do. So, um, I would probably already have put up the unboxing for this, but if you guys haven't watched it, this is the Platinum uh, Plaisir fountain pen. Uh, this is a very affordable pen, which is why I decided to treat myself a little bit to it uh, this holiday season. So I'm going to be trying it out for the very first time. I already used my brush pen. Um, so now I'm going to try this and I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I kind of wish that um, it was on this other side of the page so I don't have to, you know, don't have to struggle a little bit here, but I'm going to make it work. So I have a clip here. I'm actually just going to take this paper clip and clip it here so it stays in place. I did a test run of this already um, in the back pages so I kind of know what to expect, but this is going to be my first time journaling and I'm excited. Okay, so I just wrote all of that really, really quickly and actually I think uh, the ink is pretty much dry. I'm not going to touch the end last sentence here, but this ink dries really quickly so I'm very happy about that. 
Um, I'm excited to see how long this cartridge, this single cartridge lasts me because obviously I would need to go buy other ones when this is finished. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to go into that whole like rabbit hole of like converters um, and all of those inks yet, but um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> when I finish this cartridge, um, I'll have to make a decision then. Now, I do have a little bit more time, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually do this page as well. Because I'm mad as well, why not? Uh, in this page, I'm going to be writing a few of my paper goals um, for this new year. I know, does that sound really weird? Um, but let's just start journaling and I'll explain a little bit later. So first I'm just going to be using my brush pen. It's actually very hard to talk and do some lettering at the same time because I feel like I'll always spell things wrong. There we go. So I just write that simple title of small goals and then um, I guess I'm just going to write them in with this fountain pen. I'm not going to do anything super fancy. Alright you guys, these are just some of my small like paper goals uh, for next year. Um, some of them are quite similar to each other so I want to be able to finish all of my unfinished notebooks. I have a ton of notebooks that I've bought in the past and they're all like still empty. And I also recently bought some other new ones. I bought some Kiki K like leather notebook covers that come with notebooks inside them so I'm planning on like completely finishing all of them next year. Um, so that I'll be able to justify buying new ones and starting new notebooks. I want to be able to actually use some of these stationary products um, that I buy because sometimes like I don't use any of like my highlighters. I don't use um, like my paints as often as I would like to. Um, so that's another goal that I'm definitely going to enforce next year because more often than not um, I want to buy a ton more like new stationery and new pens and markers and stuff like that in new colors that I don't already own but um, I'm definitely gonna have to spend some time shopping my stash um, and also like some of my older like stationery that I've had when I was younger I'm gonna go pull some of those things out to see if I can use them in my system currently. Uh, another goal that I want to do is um, use all of uh, my stickers from my stash. I have a lot of stickers you guys and I didn't I wasn't able to finish all of them um, this year so uh, I'm planning on just stickering like crazy now, like I don't care anymore, I just want to use up all these stickers <laughs> so I can finish them. So if I want to, I can buy new ones. If I don't want to use stickers, then I won't. So my last two goals here are quite similar and they kind of go together. Um, I think about my purchases a lot before I buy them, especially with planners because they can tend to uh, be expensive easily. So for example, like this fountain pen, I've been thinking about getting a fountain pen for literally years um, and I only just got one now because um, I found one that I really liked and it was quite affordable and very accessible for me so um, I'm gonna see how this is like before um, I buy like converters and other inks and stuff. So for in 2020 I really want to think about my purchases but I also want to like satisfy myself because sometimes I do spend very very extended amounts of time thinking about things um, and after a while like I don't want them so when I get them, when I do end up buying them I don't like feel that excitement anymore so um, my last goal is to just, you know, get what I want. <laughs> um, if I've been thinking about it for more than like six months, I should probably just get it before I don't like it anymore. So those are my small goals for 2020. They're kind of stupid, but um, there's some things that I just want to remember anyways. Uh, and yeah, guys, they, these are my first spreads with my fountain pen. And do I like them? Absolutely, yes. This kind of reminds me of when I first started um, journaling. I was using a... Uh, I don't remember what pen I was using earlier. It could have, it could have been a, a Pig, Pigma Micron, I think. Um, and it was also a very similar tip to this, but obviously this has a little bit more dimension and fading in it. So I'm kind of interested to try other inks with different colors so I can see the difference in um, my writing. And even just in these two spreads, like I wrote differently. <laughs> like what the heck is wrong with me? Like that happens with me as well when I'm writing in pen too. So I guess that's just how I write. But. I'm very happy with this ink. It dries really quickly um, and there is no uh, like bleeding onto the other side of the page. You will see a little bit of ghosting 
uh, over here. I purposely didn't write yet on this um, because I wanted to see uh, the ghosting on the back and it looks really good. So yeah, that is it for my last journal with me of the year. I'm going to be coming back in the new year with a full flip of this and then I'm going to be changing into my new notebook as well. Um, so be sure to stick around for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.